All right, what is up, guys? Welcome to my channel, The Dreaded Disciple. Um, just wanted to get on and share a quick video of what the Lord's put on my heart and kind of what we're going through right now. Um, wife tested positive for COVID right before Christmas, so we're doing the whole quarantine thing. Uh, this year's Christmas has been a little different, not being able to go out and see family and whatnot, but it's kind of given me the opportunity to really slow down and reflect on my life, my family, my walk with the Lord. I've been able to get into the word more and, you know, be a little more mindful and thoughtful and whatnot with my prayer life. Um, it, COVID's been out for two years now, but the Lord has really blessed my family. We're just barely getting it after it's been out for a little while now. And, you know, thank the Lord our symptoms have been pretty minimum. Uh, so we're all good there. Um, I might sound congested, have a little cough throughout the video. So if I do, I apologize. Bear with me. But um, something the Lord's kind of put on my heart and that I realized in life, sometimes it doesn't always go as planned or expected or the way we want it to. Um, I know for me recently, I've been praying and talking to God and asking him for a way to connect with my son and to just build a closer relationship with him. Um, and what's kind of funny about that is we have a scripture on our wall that I walk down past every night to go to my room to go to bed. And lately it's just really been sticking out to me. So I decided to read it, pull out my Bible, read it some more, really ponder and think over it. And um, God's funny, the way he answers prayers sometimes. Sometimes it's not the way we want them to be answered. It's not the way that we think they would have been answered. But with this quarantine, yeah, things have slowed down. I've been able to spend a lot of quality time with him and kind of grow that bond in that relationship. But if you have your Bibles, I was gonna share that passage of scripture with you that's down at the end of our hallway here um, it's in first Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 16 through 18 and it reads rejoice evermore pray without ceasing in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you and so when I sit here and go over this passage of scripture and I think about it even in the midst of our trials and tribulations, whatever they might be, everybody's is different. Everybody's walk of life is different. But there's always something to give thanks for. Like, for example, we have COVID. Sure, it might be scary, it might be horrible. But there's always something to give thanks for. Um, for example, I've been able to have quality time with my family, been able to spend more time in the Word able to grow that relationship with my son that I've been praying for um, so really I mean the other thing I wanted to share too with everything going on with the pandemic and whatnot you know there's so much hate and division between people and you know whether or not you're vaccinated or Whatever the case may be, um, you know, just watching the news or I don't have social media, but looking at the wives or hearing stories from people, everybody's just living in this constant state of fear and hatred. And it's, it's kind of sad, but as a believer, we don't have, as believers, we don't have to live like that. And it's, there's so much peace and joy that comes with with Christ. Um, so I want to share a couple of scriptures. Uh, if you would turn to 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, um, it reads, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. You know, and so when we have God's word and we fully trust it and fully believe it, we can go through this journey of life without having to be in a constant state of fear, having to worry about what people are saying to us, what 
the latest pandemic is. Um, but we can have a sound mind and rely on God and his promises and his word. And in being able to do that, we're able to love and to help other people and not be all crazy in the mind. Another scripture, the last one I was going to share with you is John 14, verse 27. This is Jesus speaking. He says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And so with these scriptures, and kind of with what's going on in the world, we don't have to live in fear. You know, as Paul says, to live is Christ, to die is gain. You know, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. As believers, we have that hope of eternal life. We don't have to fear whatever whatever this life throws at us. Yeah, it might be hard, we might go through struggles, but we have God's promises. We have God's word. So if you're a believer, I encourage you, if you've been slacking, get back into prayer. Get back into the word. Just have peace and comfort in what God has revealed to us. And if you're not a believer and you're you fall into those categories I was talking about and you want to have that peace, you want to have that comfort that God provides. And if you want to know how to be saved, comment in, in the comment section on my YouTube page. You can find my email. I'd love to get in contact with you. If you can get your hands on a Bible, get it. Open it, read it, study it, and God will reveal himself to you. Um, also, you know, especially living in America, there's a lot of Christians all over. So if you have a family member, friends, coworkers, a local church that you know of, reach out to somebody. Ask them how you can be saved. Because there is hope and there is peace that only God can give. And we can receive that through his word. So anyway, short video. It's kind of what's going on. I hope this has blessed somebody. And God bless. We'll catch you on the next one.